Hello, this is Brian Cox. Uh, this is a quick demo of how to use the Ride with GPS website to create bike routes and also how to download them to the Garmin GPS. The website we'll be using will be again ridewithgps.com. Here's the website up here. So you need to sign in, and if you don't have a current uh, sign in account, then you'll have to establish one. We'll be using the free features of this website, but they do have a subscription for more advanced fe features. Okay, and so what we'll do right now is we'll create a, a route. In this case, we want to go to route or plan a route. Sorry, plan. Okay, and uh, you can jump to a location. In this case, 91801. This is a very nice uh, website that it's very easy to use, and you can be jumping from location to location and actually plotting from there. And so, what we're going to do at this point, I'm looking for uh, Lacey Park. And we're going to create a route that goes around Lacey Park. And then I'll show you how to save the file and how to download it to your GPS. So let's start this right here. We click it there. And then you can just click this thing around. It does a very good job of being able to route around locations. If you don't happen to like a location, you can move that connection. You'll move it around. You could also move that connection over here. And you can see it generates first a black line, and then when it's done, it'll be a red line. So let's put it back to here. Okay. Keep on going here. Now, according to the website, it's a good idea not to actually put the, your crosshairs right at an intersection, but to do it a little after the intersection. Okay, we're done. And that will create a route. What you can see on the left-hand side is the um, the cue sheet's generated for you automatically. And I forgot to point out is that I told it to follow the roads, optimize it for cycling, avoid highways. And then you've got other features here is that you can, by clicking on this, you can actually draw straight lines to, if you happen to know there's a road that exists or something that's not shown on the map, you can actually draw it in there and it'll follow. You can add a point of interest, you can add to the cue sheet, and you can add or remove control points. And the control point is these little white dots. So you can take that right on out of the system right there, out of the system like that. Okay, and so like point of interest uh, might be your lunch stop on the way, and you can add a point of interest like right there. And then you can add the type of point of interest it is. And then you can type in a little bit more about it if you wish. Okay. And so now that you're done with this, let's just save this. And again, we're using uh, the free features of this site and uh, the for subscriptions, see what the advantages are. So let's put a name for this route, which is called Test Map. You can actually select different features of this or different attributes. Uh, you can make it public to people or just private. Let's leave it public and say Save. OK, and now it's View Your Route here. And there's the route. 
Now here you've got, you can actually uh, put it on so, to social networks. There's particulars about this, but now we want to do is we want to export this to your Garmin. And the, uh, the subscription allows you to write directly to the Garmin, but the free feature, you can actually write this to a file and then download the file to your Garmin. And that's what we'll show you how to do. I'm going to use the TCX course because for the Garmin 500 and 800, that gives you a bunch of very nice attributes. And I'll show you what those attributes are later. So there's the course and we're using the, uh, the Chrome browser. And you can see that the map was downloaded to here. So we zoom this up. Let's put this right on the desktop. And now what I have already done ahead of time is I've plugged in the Garmin 800. It shows up as a drive on my system. So I double click the drive and you click on the Garmin subdirectory and it clicks. Now what you want to do is you want to put this file, the testmap.tcx file, into new files. And there it is. It's copying. Okay, and now all you have to do is close this out and you disconnect the Garmin, turn it off and turn it back on. And when you do do that, uh, the map will be uh, installed onto the Garmin. Now go over to this website, which is called garmin.coxintl.com and click on planning a route Garmin 800 with ride with GPS. And you can, when you click on here, it will be going to this demo video. Here's the link to ride with GPS. But when you turn on your Garmin, what you want to do is navigate to this page and then click on this, which will be the name of the file and you'll come up with a, a zoomed in view of what the map is. And so by clicking the, the minus sign a couple of times, you can zoom out and you'll get this picture of what the route is. I happen to want to make some configuration changes to this, including changing the color of that route. And so what you do is you click on the little wrench over here and you come up with this picture. I want to turn Turn guidance on, virtual partner off, course warnings I'll leave on. So you, you click on those and once you change it, you'll see that turn guidance will be on, virtual partner is off. And then I want to change the color of the map. So you click on map display and this will pop up. You want to leave always display off. This is the color we'll want to change. So we click on that and you scroll this button down until you get to whatever color you want. You do a click on that. This will show up. Then you hit the return key and you'll get to this display. Hit the return key one more and you can see we're back to the original map except the map is now in red. And so you hit back one more time and you'll be to this part, which is the menu or the map. And if you scroll, hit the key to the right, you'll come up with, this is a very nice feature and this is provided by that TCX format. You actually have a, a cue sheet built into your uh, GPS now that says where the star of the ride is, where each turn will be how many miles in front of you as well as the time. So you'll be turning at uh, Mill Lane in 0.3 miles. After that in 0.5 miles you'll be turning at Old Mill and 0.8 miles you'll be turning at South Oak Knoll. And this is approximate time that it'll take before you get to that point. You can also see that the end of the ride has already been calculated at 5.3 
and that it's estimating that you'll finish the ride in about 50 minutes. Then if you scroll again to the right, you actually come up with a uh, profile of what the ride looks like as far as elevation gain. And a nice feature is not only can you hit the right key to move to the right, but just like you can with any touch screen, you can just put your finger down and move it to the right, and you'll just move over to those positions. And so it's very much like most smartphones, as you can just slide those windows as you want. So that's it for this uh, tutorial. Uh, I hope you found it useful.